video, I'm going to be talking about five reasons why you might have art block and also have a little drawing time lapse on the screen of a drawing process that I did designing, sort of redesigning one of my characters for spring on Procreate, Corvina, who I actually designed on this channel, so you can go check that out if you want. But yeah, it's going to be chill, it's going to be fun. Um, if my voice sounds a little becky, I am a, I am a little sick. It's okay. I'm I'm getting better. It's all great. So, but if you just hear me like hacking or anything, that's why. That's that's the explanation. So anyway, I got my notes in front of me, and let's start this thing. So the first reason why you might be in our block is because you're taking your art too seriously. And I did want to kind of put a disclaimer, these are all my opinions. These are things that I've realized have really stunted my growth and caused art block for me. This is just kind of like my insight. But yeah, the first one is you're taking your art too seriously. And this is something that I've actually struggled with a lot this year. I've been in a really bad art slump. And a couple of, probably like last week, I was sitting drawing and I was like, why can't I just, my hand feels so stiff. I feel like I'm not having any fun doing this. And that's not how it's supposed to be because art has always been fun for me and now it doesn't feel fun. And I think sometimes we can get into this mindset that our art has to look um, perfect. Not perfect, but like for me, I'm always, I follow a lot of professional illustrators and I kind of feel like my art has to be a little more professional, a little more clean, you know, it can't, it has to just look professional and, and neat and perfect and it's a really bad mindset because it doesn't allow you any room to grow and make mistakes and everybody makes mistakes. And I think that's one of the main things I've struggled with and had to realize like I'm not gonna get any better if I allow myself to be so stiff and not allow myself to experiment with lines and everything, that's when I have the most fun and that is how you grow and that is how you get better. The second reason could be because you're not pushing yourself enough um, or maybe you're just drawing the same thing. And I, I have struggled with this a lot where I feel very unmotivated to draw or even when I am drawing, I, I get kind of in a almost bored a little bit and I'm realized it's like okay I've been drawing the same type of face or the same um character or the same object for so long and I why am I not growing in my art style and it's because you're, you may not be pushing yourself enough and so the only way you're going to grow is to push yourself is to try new things and it's okay to draw things that you love a lot that's fine but just keep in mind you're not gonna grow unless you um, stretch yourself and that's like one of the most important things I think you can do as an artist is to just push yourself and try new things so whether that's trying a challenge where you go on Pinterest and find a bunch of face references and then put on a timer to draw them in like one minute each or something like that um it, the, the results aren't always amazing but it's like this is teaching you to be loose with your sketches or trying to draw animals or a different type of um like ethnicity or something like that and i think that's definitely very important and doing that helps you to let go and not be as rigid and also to yeah get you out of art block and make you feel motivated Okay, so for this third reason, this is one that I've been thinking about a little bit, and I think, let me just tell it to you, it's basically, you may be feeling unmotivated because of things that are going on, like, in real life, in your life, and I think that as an artist, our minds are very connected to what we're drawing, your artwork and what you create is very connected to your daydreams and the things that you think about, the things that you're passionate about, and that's really where, you know, your art is an expression of, of, of what you think about and things like that. And so I think that sometimes when you're going through something in real life, if you're stressed out, 
Um, for some people, art can be a way to get out of stress, but for other people, sometimes it makes them unmotivated to do artwork. And so that's one thing I've realized recently is like whenever I'm super stressed out or I'm sad about something, I'm not always going to turn to my sketchbook and I don't always feel motivated. And sometimes that is something that we have to work through. It's like we can't always just stop drawing when we don't feel like it because if so, then we'll never grow. But that could be a reason why you're experiencing a little bit of art block or unmotivation. Okay, this next one is probably a little bit more unheard of. It's kind of two reasons in one. It's basically either you're using too many references or too many prompts, or you're using your imagination too much. And I think that you can kind of do both too much. I think it's better to use your imagination too much than to use references too much. I don't know, that's just my opinion. But I think using both too much can be bad. You should have a good mixture. I find that if I'm always turning to like Pinterest references or I don't know, like free images online to get inspiration from and to draw from, well, that's good to enhance your skills and to draw from real life that will help you, you know, get better at drunk faces or whatever your subject matter is. Then if you depend too much on it, then when you find yourself, um, without references then you're going to be lost and you're not going to feel motivated so i think it's very good to put away the references for a little bit and just draw from imagination using the things that you have learned um from studies and things like that so like i said you have to have a good balance of both but i think if you're only using your imagination i mean your imagination isn't always accurate and if you're trying to get better at drawing a certain subject matter um, it is good to study it from real life or from a reference. And so, you know, you just have to have like a good mixture of both. But if you do either one too much, that could be definitely a big reason why you're not feeling motivated to draw at all. Okay, so the fifth and final reason um, why you might be experiencing art block is one that I think most artists go through i know i go through this all the time and it's that you're not satisfied with your art style um and i kind of think for all of us sometimes doing art is a constant comparison game we're always looking to what our favorite artists are drawing and comparing our art styles to theirs and sometimes we think like why is it so easy for them and why is this so hard for me to draw or whatever it is and we just have to realize that we're probably never going to be satisfied with our art style a lot of those big professional artists they struggle too we're always we're all learning and they may be at a different place in their learning journey but eventually we'll get to a place too will where we'll probably be really satisfied with our skill set or have a really professional looking skill uh art style too but you have to just be satisfied with where you are at the moment i think and not try your best not to like compare yourself to other artists because they have worked very hard to get to where they are and hopefully you've worked hard to get to where you are so just appreciate it because you're always learning and that's just where you are at the moment so those are just a couple of my thoughts on the reasons why i might have art block if you guys have any like things that you struggle with and, and reasons why you think you might get into art block sometimes definitely let me know i would love to hear it art block is such a weird thing it's it can be extremely annoying and so i hope that this kind of helps you identify like oh this is what's this may be what's causing my art block and help you to get out of it a little bit and help you find inspiration always remember that inspiration is everywhere around you i always really encourage drawing from imagination that's like one of my big things but also yes remember to hone your skills by practicing from life or from studies so yeah hope this was helpful for you guys um i really enjoyed this painting or this little mood board i think it turned out pretty cute i'm not totally satisfied with it but i am not going to criticize myself too much with this because i'm still learning and overall i'm quite proud of it so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
because you know a lot of times we're drawing um, from our imagination or your ideas really oh my gosh I can't